this tutorial is about writing user defined function and using that function in MS Excel. I have a task to check the occurrence of a given text in a column. On this sheet, I have some information in column B. Now I want to check that second occurrence of keyword Australia is in which cell. So this task can be done using a user defined function that we will learn here in this tutorial. Right now I have already developed that function. So I'm just going to show how we can use that function. We can see that here in this range we have kind of statements in each cell. So my requirement is to check Australia keyword within this range and I want to check that second occurrence of Australia keyword is in which cell. So here in this cell G7 I will use a formula name of that formula is let me write equal to sign and then check occurrence check underscore occurrence start brackets this function will take three parameters first parameter is range then comma within this range I want to check Australia keyword that is in this cell then comma occurrence I want to check is second let me close brackets when I press enter the result that we are getting is B8 let me highlight it so let's cross check if we have Australia keyword with second occurrence in B8 so here in this data first occurrence is in this cell then second occurrence is in this cell for Australia and address of this cell is B8 so this function that I have used called or named check underscore occurrence is a user defined function that has been developed using VBA code so in this tutorial we are going to learn how we can define any user defined function for any specific need and how we can use that as a first step what I will do I will right click on this sheet then I will use move or copy option and here in this window I will select new workbook then create a copy this is just for using the same data otherwise we can use any new file and create user defined function I just want to make use of same data so I am just using move or copy option press ok now this is new sheet with same data set let me remove color and now let me close let me close all other files so I will press alt and F11 to reach to VBA editor window so in Excel we can use key as alt F11 let me write it here alt F11 so once I press alt F11 we can see that this is VBA editor window on left hand side we have this workbook that means this file I will right click select insert and then module here in this space I will write a function and that function I will use to accomplish that task so writing function we will use 
keyword as function then we will give name in this case I am going to give name as check occurrence bracket start within this bracket I will make use of three parameters first my range as range then string text as string and occurrence as integer these three parameters I am declaring here so that while using this function I can pass these three things once I press enter then we can see and function is added by Excel itself now one more variable I will write here dim C as range then let me write dim counter as integer let me remove a space and here I will write a loop so I'm going to use for loop let me write for then each C in my range this is the first parameter that we have declared in brackets for each C in my range then let me close the for loop statement using next and we want one by one so I will write here C next C this C is this now within for loop we will write some more VBA code so one function is there if function name is any string or INSTR within bracket 1 comma C comma str text this is second parameter is greater than 1 then counter equal to counter plus 1 press enter formatting will be done automatically one more if if counter equal to occurrence then then what we have to check is check underscore occurrence equal to C dot address now here we can see the name of function is capturing the result both should be same then exit function let me close if statement and if so let me check what is the result equal to check occurrence first parameter that is the range comma I want to check this text and then second occurrence if I close the bracket press enter we are getting the same result so let me show you the code again what we have done is we have defined a function named check underscore occurrence with three parameters first second and third 
so while using this user defined function in excel we have to pass three parameters now just one for loop and within for loop we have used if statements and we are done so let me close this vba editor window or let me minimize let me check with one more example let's say for australia keyword itself i want to check third occurrence i will press enter and we can see that third occurrence is in b11 so let's cross check first occurrence is in this that is b3 and second occurrence is in b8 then third occurrence is in b11 so this is how we can define and use some vba code for user defined function and make use of that user defined function for different customized requirement in ms excel in ms excel there are certain requirements where we don't find any by default function in excel and for that use we can make or develop own user defined function using vba code thank you for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe to the channel for any question write to excel destination at the rate gmail.com thanks again